right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, TC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the waters. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win a UFC championship. And no room for a one pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will rest the title away. is absolutely deafening as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion makes the walk for his latest title defense. This is a huge fight, as big a fight as we can put together at 155 pounds, but the champion thinks it's going to be one side. Yeah, skill for skill, he's one of the best fighters in the world. That's why when you look at the pound for pound rankings, you always see his name right amongst the top of the guys on the list. He has every skill in mixed martial arts, but I believe it's his mind that separates him from the rest. He has a steel trap of a mind and believes without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best fighter in the world. Yeah, he was carrying himself this week like a guy who knew something we didn't. We'll see just how one-sided this fight could be in a matter of moments. Charles Oliver is ready to engage yet again. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Armin Ahakalakis Garukian. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Oliveira! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for fight. this one. Ready. Good. All right, we'll see how it goes early in this round for the UFC lightweight champion, Charles Oliveira. He can beat you any number of ways. I don't have to tell most of this audience he is the most decorated finisher in UFC history and likely in pursuit of another one here tonight. Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic Muay Thai, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction... Oh, massive diving punch, plus to the head. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Beautiful. Just over three minutes to go, round one. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oliveras has got full mount now. Well, he's got his back now. Oliveira's in half court. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Using a lot of good movement. 
Olivera's got his back yet again. That was a slick transition. Keep on, keep on. Nice side there by the jam. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Oliveira. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Darce choke the tip here. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. A series of punches from the top here by Sauerkjell. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great. Oliveira's going for a choke. Well, that guillotine is officially tight. Posters up now and lands a vicious head strike. Wow. Round two straight ahead. All right, so wow. there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Right, Got to right. talk about that stand knockdown. What a fantastic down. round. Down. He was able to good. set up a right, great go. shot. Got the knockdown. Okay. You have to be feeling right. good as he walked back to the corner. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Sarukyan. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big diamond punch to the head. Armbar set up here. Nice setup on that armbar. Armbar very tight. Working hard for the armbar. He has got to get his hands unlocked if he wants to find his finish. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Sarukyan. He's very accurate in the ground and and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. In the half guard. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Beautiful submission tip here. Your hook looks tight. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sun? I think that's a great job. you got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Ninety seconds to go in the round. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Oliveira. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. 
this is where he wants to be. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. All right, take a deep breath. Respira bem fundo. Sim, olha, não fique lá em pé, ok? Ele tá atacando muito o seu corpo, ok? You have to... Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go ahead. Round three of a possible five. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Nice knee landed there by Oliveira. Big right hand. Good jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. He lands another ground strike there. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Sarukyan. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, great submission defense. Guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. What a strike from off of his back. Sarukyan going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Lands the ground and pound strike here. On a He's isolating an arm. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Somehow he gets out. Great submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. All right, hammer fist here by Sarukyan. Trying to recover full guard there. Well, that's been a good weapon for him tonight. Hammer fist again by Sarukyan. Oh, he's got his back. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Okay, you almost knocked him out. So let's get this again. We gotta set it up properly, okay? Give well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in that extra 10 minutes. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land a lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Oh, that's tight. He should be defending right now. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Oh, slick reversal right there. Actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. He passed the half guard. Body position, yo. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start. Oh, oh, watch the arm here. Oh, looks like he's got that submission locked in. Starting to get deep. Oh, he's out of danger. What a great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. And MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Yeah, I have. <laughs> 20 minutes in the cans, five to go. Stop! Okay, you did really well the last round. Let's get this last round in now, okay? You just gotta be patient. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Wow, huge head kick. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go with it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let it off the hook like that, because now he's gonna be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice. A single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over again. Oliveira's in half guard now. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. He's having his way with him here. Under three minutes remain in round five. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Sauerkjaan. 
ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman will be proud. And another one. Another strike to the top. Lands for him. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a dart stroke. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. Oh, he is no out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the last punch, so look for a submission attempt. Transition. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. That dorse is tight. Oh, flattened him on his back there. He's getting the ball here. He's got to be careful here. 20 seconds to go in the fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Inside the floor. Oh, 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 action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight, and we are all proud to call him new UFC champion. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of